hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here the first question is asking the figure shows three long parallel current carrying wires the magnitudes of the currents are equal and their directions are indicated in the figure which of the arrows drawn near the wire carrying current one correctly indicates the direction of the magnetic magnetic force acting on the wire now let's see how we can find it so first of all we have to know the uh, direction due to each current wire right so first of all this is going inside this is going outside so here the force is going to be repulsive due, due to these two so according to so since uh, the force due to second current is going to be in the a direction since this is repulsive the force due to second current is going to be in the a direction and force due to the first uh, i mean third current it's going to be in the C direction. Both are going to be attractive, so it's going to be in the C direction. Now, to find which one is going to have greater effect, we can use this equation. That is a force per unit length, a force per length equation. That is force per length is equal to mu naught I1 I2 over 4 phi R square, right? So this is the equation we are going to use. And you can see that for this distance, let's say this is uh, D or something like that. So this is, let's say this is 2D. And you can see this distance is higher, right? And if you have plug this value for this R value, you will see you will get a smaller number for this force. So this force is going, uh, force due to this one is going to be smaller since this is too far. But for force due to this one is going to be higher because we are going to have small number in the denominator. So we are going to have higher force. So the highest dominant force is going to be repulsive force that's going to be in the A direction. So the direction of this force is going to be in the A direction. Now let's look at the second question. Second question is asking two long parallel wires carry currents of 10 ampere in opposite directions. They are separated by 10 centi I mean 40 centimeter. What is the magnetic field in the plane of the wire at a point that is 20 centimeter from one wire and 60 centimeter from the other? So to find this one, what we do, we can use magnetic field net equation. Both are in the opposite direction, so we are going to have B1 minus B2, and then B1. So here, magnetic field equation is going to be mu naught i1 over 2 phi d1 and minus mu naught i2 over 2 phi d2 so mu naught current is same there's they have mentioned right here so two long parallel carry currents 10 ampere so two of them has same current so we can let's factor this one out so we are going to have mu naught so instead of i1 i2 we can write just i because since here they have both equal current, we can just write I. And then in the denominator, we are going to have 2 phi. And we are going to have 1 over D1 minus 1 over D2. Now let's plug the values. Permeability constant is going to be 4 phi times 10 to the power of minus 7 times 10 ampere. I mean, this is Tesla meter per ampere times 10 ampere over 2 phi times 1 over the first distance that is 20 centimeter so this is going to be 1 over 0 0.2 then the second distance is 60 centimeter that's going to be 1 over 0 0.6 now if you calculate this value that should give you 6.67 times 10 to the power of minus 6 tesla and that's going to be the final answer i hope you guys find this video helpful See you next time.